it's me, JC, back with another Ceramic Hour live stream. We are still under glazing. Um, we've got six turtles here and a chicken. I don't think we... I think we mixed the color for the chicken yesterday, but didn't actually really work on it. <laughs> um, so I am just doing some finishing touches on the turtle eyes. Um, there's a lot of back and forth that is going on there. And then, um, I think, I think I'll mix up some more color for this chicken. I only did two layers on it. I think you can, yeah, you can see it in the background. Um, <clears throat> Um, but yeah, I ran out of, um, underglaze for it, so we'll have to do a little more. Where is my, here's my little palette. Um, grab some, whatever these are, sculpting tools. Okay, let me just check my recipe. I want to like ultra focus <laughs> because I'm going to be mixing up like three different yellows. <laughs> um, okay, just kind of guess like how much would be a good amount because we're so we have two coats done on it. Um, I typically underglaze five layers. Most people do three, but I usually do five because I want to make sure it's pretty opaque. Um, and with each layer that you do, it takes longer to dry. So let me just kind of, I don't know, maybe get like a decent amount. I don't want like too much. Cause I don't really want it to dry while um, when we're done with the stream. I kind of want to use up like try to use up as much as we can. Um, And just a little reminder that I'll be streaming um, tomorrow. I should, you know, should be good to stream, but then Thursday and Friday is going to be canceled. Um, let me see. <laughs> I feel like I might be getting a little bit <laughs> too much. I kind of want about, kind of whatever seems like about half as much. Maybe just a tiny bit more. This is all rough, like just kind of guessing. <clears throat> Get the yellow off my hands. Okay. Um, so tomorrow, um, after the stream, yeah, it's tomorrow. Um, I am pretty sure both my glaze and my bisque load are going to be ready to be picked up. Um, sorry, I just hit the camera <laughs> with my face. Um, I forgot. Um, I... Um... 
Let me see, what was my problem? I guess it doesn't really, I guess it doesn't really matter for the stream because I won't be able to show, like do a little kiln reveal until Monday. Um, okay, I guess it doesn't really matter. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure how early I'm going to be able to actually pick up Um, am I forgetting one? I need four. No, we have four. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was like, do we need four small ones? Globs or four total? Okay. Sorry, I guess you guys can't really see what I'm doing. It's not all that interesting. I'm just putting them on here to be mixed. Mm, this is quite a lot. <laughs> I mentioned yesterday that this is just like the shell of that turtle. It's off to the side. Um, if you're wondering why I'm mixing on this, I just happen to have it next to me. Um, and again, you want to make sure that you are not like mixing your glaze or underglaze on top of anything that you would possibly eat off of. This is just, you know, it's my turtle shell. I'm not going to be eating off of it. I am pretty certain that I would not eat off of it <laughs> for any reason. So I think we're good there, but if anything is like a bit ambiguous, maybe like a tiny plate or something that you have, um, it's just really good to separate, you know, anything that you put, you know, your ceramic materials on. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure that this is mixed really well. <clears throat> I'm just making such a mess. <laughs> okay, and then this is our little swatch from yesterday. So let's see how that color matches. Yeah, I think that's pretty close. Um, so I think we are good with this. Let me just put my little thing there. Move my little, uh, whatever swatches. Um, I was really struggling to get a second full coat on this chicken yesterday, so I definitely didn't do the sides. Um, let me write that down because I want to make sure that I do even coats on it. Um, Sorry, I know it's probably really boring. <laughs> um, let me see. I'm gonna get a little flat brush and I don't know, maybe for like the later coats, maybe I'll like, I don't know, maybe lighten it a little bit. It's very mustardy. I don't know if that is exactly what I want. Um, but I don't know, uh, I think it, I don't know, maybe that's just kind of, 
Maybe that's just how they look. <laughs> they look like they're covered in mustard. I'm aiming for like a, obviously like a very yellow, like goldish type of chicken. Um, because like this is just kind of like, I think a color that you don't really see in a lot of like art for chickens or like if there's a chicken in a movie they're always just like black white maybe like red or brown um I mean chickens come in so many cool colors or like like patterns I would say um like, they're really just not represented very well in a lot of, like, art and movies. There we have a giant glob of brown that just... <laughs> giant, I don't know. I'm just going to have to make sure that the last few coats are pretty even. Evenly mixed. Um, but yeah, I want to try to, like get some more interesting colors, like, you know, chicken representation going on. Um, I'm trying to do that with my bunny dishes too. Um, I think cats, cats are obviously very common. Lots of people have cats. Um, so I don't really know if there are really colors that people aren't aware of <laughs> for cats. Um, but I want to try to make these kind of, you know, realistic. I don't want to just, I don't really want to just be like, oh, I'm just going to do whatever, whatever I feel like because artistic license. <laughs> um, I kind of want to like, you know, I think it's like more exciting too for like, People that, you know, like, people that have chickens, you know, will see this and be like, oh, that's so cool. That's a, you know, whatever breed or something. Or um, I think it's a lot, it's probably more of something that people would react to with, like, the bunnies. I don't, I don't know, like, a ton about chickens. Um, my mom has chickens. But I was always more into like the bunnies <laughs> and like um, some bunnies have very distinct patterns. I think with more of my my plans for the distinct chickens, I think that would be a lot more obvious, like which breed it is. But, um, you know, I'm not really sure if you can get that with just a yellow chicken. I don't know how my chickens come in yellow. <laughs> Off the top of my head, I really don't remember. <laughs> my 4-H days were, I mean, I did show chickens, but I think I was more focused on learning about bunnies. <laughs> um. But yeah, I think like, especially people with that have like, um, that own bunnies, I think would be like really excited to see like this kind of stuff, you know, cause like typically like for bunnies, when you see them in like art or movies, you know, maybe it's just like, um, like a wild rabbit, which is just like brown. Um, or like a lot of art has just like white bunnies. Maybe a black bunny. Um, or like, I mean, that's like pretty much like the three. <laughs> but like bunnies come in like, re like actual like patterns. They do come in like, 
you know, things like this, like lighter brown spots and, you know, kind of like a, maybe like a goldish color, lots of different browns. But like they come with like all kinds of different spot patterns and stuff. And I think those are the ones that are like more interesting. Um, you know, when they have like really cool patterns. Um, I feel like there's a lot of fun that can be had with that kind, you know, putting them in like your art than just like the boring white bunny. Um, so that's, I kind of want to try to be realistic when I can, although we got to simplify some of these patterns so that it doesn't take me like a million years to, <laughs> to make to make some of these things. I have some chickens that are ready to be um, painted with a pattern. Like I put the white background on them and then I just need to like add in the pattern. Um, but I don't really want to do that on the stream because I feel like that's going to take, like I'm gonna really need to focus. Like, focus, like, ultra focus <laughs> on those details. Okay, let me just, like, kind of wash my brush off a little bit. Um, actually, let me wash the other ones, too. I'm also trying to think... Um, it's not as much of a priority, but I'm just trying to look at like, you know, like a whole, like what the new collections are going to look like and um, what will be added to my shop. So since I was thinking about like a black and white chicken, um, I think like adding in like a colored chicken, like this yellow one, um would look nice like you know like when you go to my shop and you see like you go to like all of the chicken dishes I don't want them to only be black and white you know um so we did just do like a black chicken the other day um so I think like adding a little variety when people look at the shop is kind of fun um adding in color and then also doing some really simple black and white ones, I feel like is a good, um, like a good way to add some variety. Um, okay. I don't really know where I want to put the camera because I'm trying to do like, <laughs> this is like literally such intricate details. I really need like a brush that is smaller than this. <laughs> I need like a brush with like three hairs on it. Um, let me see. I think I could grab some white. <clears throat> Maybe move a few of these. And then once our chicken is dry, then we'll do another layer. But we'll just have to work on the turtles right now. I think I want to add like... Oh shoot. I really do need like a smaller brush. I'm sorry, I have no idea <laughs> if this is in focus. I literally am just 
trying to look at with my eyeballs <laughs> and like focus there. Okay. Um, I feel like I just made that one a lot worse. I'm really trying to focus on like how round the black part is um, and then I can like fix up the white once it dries. I'm gonna go to the ceramic store um, on my day off. Um, pick up some underglaze because I need. I definitely need some more white. And I'm like out. I'm like almost just about out of this green. <laughs> These six turtles use like a full bottle of underglaze because I put so many coats on I really like this green too so I just want to make sure that I have some on hand um Georgie's is like they're only open during like when I'm working <laughs> so I can only go there like on my days off like if I just randomly have a day off during the week um so i have to stock up on some stuff you know i was thinking it would be adorable if i got like um i'm kind of leaning towards like a speckled clay like a speckled clay that I could just like shape um, and then maybe put like a clear glaze on top of it um, to make like, I don't know, like sand castles or something, like things made out of sand. Um, obviously more of a summer thing, <laughs> but um, I was thinking that would be so cute. I don't know if, um, I don't know if Georgie's has any clay that would be exactly kind of like what I'm looking for. Um, I'll have to kind of look at their, maybe take a look on their website and then 
take a look at their examples in the store. Um, I really don't want to order clay like I mean, you definitely can order clay like online from like ceramic stores, but obviously clay is really heavy and fairly big. So like it costs a, like a chunk of money for them to ship it to you. Um, so I'm just trying to avoid that. But it's definitely an option if I really could not find what I'm looking for. Um, another thought is like, I don't know, maybe a glaze that kind of has that effect. Although I think it was, if it was kind of speckly, um, usually like, I think usually like speckles kind of like maybe fall and kind of like um like how would you describe that kind of like skid marks <laughs> and that's a really weird <laughs> thing to compare it to but sometimes they just kind of like they're supposed to be speckles but then they just like fall and they're just kind of dripping um and it, you know, it's like a line instead of like speckles. And that's not really what I'm after. Um, I think particularly something like Moss Mist. That's like one of uh, Amico's new, um, one of their new glazes. Um, but that's kind of like, it's more of the charm of the glaze. Like it's supposed to... <clears throat> just kind of like do that really beautiful kind of um, cascading effect. Let's see, does this work if I put this here? I am pretty like particular about like um I don't know stuff like color and stuff like I really want sorry I keep hitting the camera I really want you know my colors to be like pretty accurate to like what I'm aiming for Pretty close. I know the turtles are not probably like the greatest example <laughs> of being like pretty close, but I'm actually, I'm really happy with like the color that I use them with, but um, you know. I don't know if I was making like you know like my fruit trinket dishes like it has to be like the right color or else you're gonna be like what the heck <laughs> like if it's just like really off like I've seen things where like people you know they're trying to like make something look like something else but the color is just completely off you're just like that doesn't like but it's not in an artsy way and it's just like, I don't know, maybe like yarn. Because like yarn, you're at the whims of, you know, whoever made the yarn in terms of like color. Unless you're actually going to dye your own yarn. Um, but like, I don't know, for things like that, I'm just like, I'd rather just like not do the project at all than have something be like, you know, have the color be like completely off. If that makes sense that's just kind of I don't know I'm really um nitpicky in that regard I would say <laughs> I 
I literally have spent so long, <laughs> so long going back and forth, <laughs> like touching up these eyes. Um, I was definitely a little distracted yesterday and definitely did not spend, I mean, maybe like an hour or something on these, but I definitely didn't spend like a lot of time on them. But I'm hoping to do that today, or, you know, tonight. Um, was I doing? Oh, I was, I was getting a Halloween costume, which, considering that Halloween is next week, um, that really needed to be done like as soon as possible. <laughs> you know, can't really, really shouldn't wait any longer. Um, I told myself that I was going to make something and then, um, I don't know. I was just like, I literally have no idea what I want to do. Um, and I think making something would involve having an idea <laughs> of what I want to do. But then also, like, actually going to the store and, like, you know, like, Michael's or something and picking up supplies. And, um, that definitely didn't happen last weekend. So I'm just kind of, um, not, I wouldn't say scrambling, but something a little scrambling. Like, this, he looks like he has, like bags under his eyes like he's like oh god I'm so tired <laughs> this is why I can't this is why I don't post like in pro in process like photos because it's like look at how sad he looks <laughs> like I just need to post photos of like when they're actually done <laughs> They're not, like, extremely sad or weird looking. <laughs> okay, anyway. um, so, so, yeah, I was getting my Halloween costume. And I decided to do um, Sabrina Spellman, but from, like, the Chilling Adventures um, series. The other one is just, like... I mean, I guess you could dress like the other one, but I mean, she's just like dressed like early 2000s with long blonde hair. There's not really, <laughs> there's not really anything defining, I feel like, <laughs> about her look. But the new one wears like a lot of red and black. Um, I mean, she definitely has like more to her outfit. Um... and like style but um I think that's like I mean red is definitely like her color it's just like definitely her thing so I got a um I decided to go with blonde even though her hair turns white um a little later in the series maybe that's like season two I don't know but I liked her with blonde hair a little bit more, so that's what I went with. Um, so I got a little wavy, t small blonde wig and um, a red long sleeve shirt. And I'm going to wear it with this. Um, I have like a knit, like a black knit uh, skirt. She wears a lot of skirts. <laughs> like no matter what time of year it is, she's like wearing a skirt. <laughs> um and then of course a black headband um I don't I don't know if she wears tights a lot I really didn't notice but I might have some tights if I want to add that and then maybe some pick up some red lipstick at the store maybe this weekend. Um, 
Um, I feel like it works, you know? Like, I really didn't have to buy, like, a ton of things. I mean, I did have to buy, like, you know, wigs are not that cheap. I mean, I guess if you're comparing them to, like, real, like, wigs with real hair in them, but, um, I mean, I don't know, $20 is kind of a lot. And that's definitely on the cheaper end. But... I don't know I love Halloween and we're going to have a Halloween party at work um so that's what I'm getting it for I don't know if we're gonna do anything else I mean, Halloween is during, like, the weekday, so <laughs> I might not be, I might not do anything else, although, um, it can be really fun to go out to different places and they have, like, um, a lot of places, like, in bigger towns will have, like, some kind of... Um, I don't know, they'll have like Halloween deals, like Krispy Kreme, if you dress up, you get like, I think it's any donut, or the least is like, you get a plain glazed donut, I don't know, I can't remember, but like stuff like that, all kinds of different like, um, like restaurants will offer different things, um, Chipotle offered something maybe it was like a buy one get one burrito buy one get one free or something or buy one get one half off um if you just google it there's like there's like a list that someone makes of like all the different places that have um like halloween discounts but usually you have to be like dressed up for Halloween to get the whatever the discount is Sonic does like a um I think last year was like I think last year was like free corn dog or something I feel like that seems really random but I mean corn dogs are cheap <laughs> hi WD Mo I am just over here working on under glazing um, we have these turtles and this chicken. I think I could do another coat on the chicken. Let me just, where should I put this? Um, but yeah, just talking about Halloween, because that is coming up next week. Um... I'll do another reminder, but because I'm going into the office on Halloween, um, I'll have to cancel the stream. Um, I'll just like, um, I think I'll probably put it on like vacation mode or something. Sorry, I feel like hitting this camera. Um... I think otherwise next week I don't think I have anything else going on unless something just like comes up And then, of course, I am working on, well, once I get my ornaments back, which I think is going to be tomorrow, um, I'm going to be, like, hustling to get those decorated and then bring them back for a glaze firing as soon as I can. As soon as I get, like, 
um, a batch done. I think they're, there's like, do I have any extra things? I definitely have, I think 48 or 49 maybe um, ornaments. Um, um, is there anything else I was doing for holiday things? I think I set a few things out that I could decorate, um, if I wanted to, but I haven't gotten to them. Um, I mean, the ornaments are definitely priority. Um, just trying to get as many of those as I can done. Um, and then be there are definitely quite a few. So it's probably going to take, I don't know, maybe two or three uh, glaze batches. Um, because, um, the way that I am planning on, ha like, glazing them, they would be sitting flat, so they take a bit of space, especially if there being, like, so many of them. It's probably going to be quite a few batches. Um, and then... I don't know, whenever, as soon as I can, I'm going to take some photos of them and add them to the shop. Um, if you watch the stream, you'll definitely be getting um, updates on that. I'm a little bit slower <laughs> to update like my Instagram. <laughs> But um, I, I'm usually talking about things that are in progress on the stream. Um, I do want to, like, try to, like, build some hype for the ornaments, though, so that people know that I am actually um, doing that. Because I did not do anything for Halloween. I really wasn't planning on doing holiday things. <laughs> um, but here we are. We're doing it. <laughs> We're just going to see how it goes. Um, although I do kind of feel like maybe um, holiday things could go over better because people could buy things for themselves, but they could also buy things for other people um, if they want to. Um... I mean, I guess it's kind of weird if you're buying an ornament for someone else. I guess I'm not really sure, like, why someone would do that. <laughs> um, I don't know. Because <laughs> what do we have? We have a candy cane, a tree a candy, and then just like a plain, um, it's just like a circle, and then I'm just gonna, I don't know. <laughs> I could do like anything on the circle, like a wreath or something, maybe like a bunny, like with some laurels on the side. I feel like that would be cute. Um, I guess, yeah, I guess, um, my my sister-in-law was like asking me about the ornaments. I think she assumed I was making ornaments and I was like, "Oh, yeah, did you see the ones that I posted on like Instagram?" And she was like, "No." I was like, "How did you know I was making ornaments?" <laughs> I'm like, I think she just assumed I was, but she was going to like buy um buy one for my mom, I guess. So, I don't know. I guess you could do that. Um, or maybe like, I don't know, maybe, uh, a work thing, 
maybe, I don't know. <laughs> okay, let me write down in my notes. Um, Okay, I'm trying to keep track of how many coats we have, but the sides are different than like the top of the chicken. Um, um, this is like wet. <laughs> Let me just move my little turtle over here. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to just maybe make, I don't know if I want to make any extra things. I do have a singular, I have a single mug um, over here that could be decorated in like a holiday theme. But... Oh yeah, I think the I think the reason why I didn't start on anything was like because I really need to get the turtles done. Um cuz I really want to get these fired and put them in the shop. Um I've had a lot of people like and you know save the turtles on their Etsy accounts, so I'm like are people waiting for this to become available? Because I have them on my Etsy as, like, a pre-order item. You know, like, they're not ready yet, but you could order it and have it sent to you, like, as soon as it was ready. No one has done that yet, but... A lot of people are, like, saving it um, to their likes. So I'm like, <laughs> if anybody wants to buy these, like, I want to make sure they can do that as soon as they can. Um, But I know, like, um, I think I have, I don't know, I put the um, processing time a few weeks out um, just to make sure I had enough time to do them in case anything happened, um, any unfortunate events. <laughs> Let me see. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like this one looks a bit wonky. But I've been working on these for like... I mean, they've been sitting. <laughs> they've been chilling out. For quite a while. <laughs> I don't even know like when I got them back from the bisque firing. That was like. That was a little while ago. I think. Okay we got like 10 minutes left. Um, I don't know. Maybe I can put the camera over here. I'm probably going to hit it though. I keep hitting it with my face. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to decorate, like, my little mug or this little, like, I have these little tiny, like, ring dishes. But I'll probably, I don't know, save that for, like, last. Because I think, I don't know, it's probably going to take a while to get through the ornaments.
Hmm. Okay, let me take a closer look at this guy. Um, okay, I could definitely fix up the black. Okay, if I don't mess this up, I think this one is like pretty much done. Okay, I'm gonna have to let it sit so I can look at it when it is completely dry, but I think that one might be good. This one's not bad, but I'm not super happy with it. Shoot. <laughs> mm, I think we're getting into the white a little bit too much, maybe. Okay, I think I'm going to go over this one with more white. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to put that one back. be good. I'll put him over here on the side. <laughs> this one is like, <laughs> the, this eye is like, what the heck? This is also another good example of why I can't post like in progress photos because because if people see it they're like oh that's what it's gonna look like when it's done like <laughs> no I swear I'm gonna fix it <laughs> it's a wonky eye. <laughs>
Unless I was like doing it on purpose, but like I want it to be very clear if I'm doing it on purpose. <laughs> And not just like really bad at painting. <laughs> um, okay, I definitely need to round out the people. That's why like people, you know, if you're like, if you're ever like looking over someone's shoulder while they're like doing art and then they yell at you, like this is kind of why, because you know, because they know it's not done and it's not anywhere close to like what it's actually going to look like when it's done. Like that's, that's the thing, you know, because people think you're going to be like judging them when it looks really bad. Um... I think like the worst is when people are like looking over your shoulder and they're like what is that like what it what are you supposed to be doing like what's that supposed to look like <laughs> and you're like oh my god it's not done don't look <laughs> Although I had this, um, this time, um, when I was a kid, obviously, like, I think lots of kids do this, um, there was this, like, I don't know what it was, but it was, like, this thing, it had, like, some art of, like, penguins on it, and I absolutely loved, like, the art style, and it definitely, it wasn't realistic. It was very, like, it was, like, it was pretty, like, um, you know, stylized. And I copied that style when I was, like, I was, like, drawing penguins on, I don't know, I was something in school. And somebody was, like, this girl was, like, looking at what I was doing, and she was, like, what is that even supposed to be? And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, when I was doing it, it was definitely, like, I don't know. I think I was done drawing it, or, like, it definitely had, like, enough of the defining features of it. And I was, like, so upset because I'm, like, it's literally, like... You know, like, this professional artist, like, you know, did it this way, like, you know, I wasn't just, like, making something up and it just looked really terrible. <laughs> and I was, like, I was definitely one of the, like, most artsy kids in my class, you know, like, it probably wasn't exactly like the art that I saw, but I feel like it probably wasn't all that different either, though. So, like, I felt so judged. <laughs> and I literally, like, that was from, that was from when I was in middle school. And I'm st I still, like, think about it. <laughs> I think that, like, it put me on a path of doing, like, abstract art because... If you do abstract art, like, no one can come to you and be like, what is that even supposed to be? Like, I don't get it. It doesn't look like blank. Like, you can't do that with abstract art. Um, and I feel like it definitely put me on a path for that. But, um, I don't know. I really, like... <sighs> I've done a bit of like a little like a little tiny bit of like illustrative work um and kind of maybe incorporating that into logo making and such or I don't know maybe like stationary type of things um but making like these trinket dishes um in this kind of like 
I mean, I wouldn't say they're realistic, but, like, you know it's supposed to be, like, a turtle or a chicken. Um, and I really haven't done, like, this kind of stuff in, like, really a long time for any of my other art, I think. I mean, they're definitely stylized, but, um, yeah, um, it's really been quite a while since I really did much of anything that was similar to this. Because I mostly did, like, I did a lot of abstract stuff for, like, um, a lot of the painting that I did, um, like, mostly when I was in college. I mean, I did a little bit of painting afterwards, but, um... But I think that there's so much more fun than just, like, just putting a glaze on, like, a dish. I do love, like, that aspect. And I kind of want, like, a 50-50 of that in my shop. Like, some stuff that is, like, more like these guys. And then, like, maybe 50% is, like, experimenting with, like, patterns and glaze. But I, I really enjoy both of them. Um, well, that is it for our live stream. Um, thank you so much for joining. Good to see you, Mug, uh, Dub Demo. Um, let me see. So I'll be back for a stream tomorrow, but then Thursday and Friday are canceled. Um, for anybody else watching on Twitch, be sure to follow along so you know when I come on for streams and when I cancel them. Um, all the videos are uploaded to YouTube at Callie and Co. They're heavy, uh, full live stream playlist that you can check out. Um, and I have a few ceramic tutorials and some videos that are, uh, for like kind of any artist and a few for small handmade business topics. Um, so be sure to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment. Um, those are all awesome for the channel. And then if you want to check out my Instagram, um, you can find it at Callie and Co. There will be a link in the description once I get off the stream. Um, and you can actually see how the stuff turns out or uh, get my updates. I put a lot of my updates through Instagram, through the stories. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope the stream wasn't too boring. <laughs> I'm still going to work on these turtles, like, tonight and try to get them finished with the underglaze. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't know what I'm going to do for the stream tomorrow. I, maybe we'll glaze the turtles tomorrow, but that really wouldn't take very much time, I don't think. I don't know. I mean, we can work on our chicken, I guess. Um, and, yeah, well, I will catch you guys later, and I hope you have a great day. All right, bye.